Welcome to Me People. I'm Ellie and today we'll be talking about semiotics. Firstly, we can define semiotics as the study of signs and symbols and how they create meaning. There are two main theorists that have created this topic, Saussure and Peirce. Originally, Saussure stated that we communicate through a system of signs, which can really be anything like images, words, and more straightforwardly, signs themselves. Semiotics describes how we can actually understand what we're seeing when we see these signs. They can be broken down into two parts, the signifier and the signified. The signifier is what we actually see. When we put this into context, it becomes easier. Take for example a traffic light. The signifier is the green light itself, while the signified is the concept that we think of when we see such signs. The idea to go or to drive. Sue believed that the relationship between these two was arbitrary. In other words, there's no connection. The word cat has no connection visually or verbally to the actual animal itself. However, academic Pierce furthers this idea with his triadic model. He states that a sign can be split into one of three groups. Firstly, an iconic sign, when the signifier resembles the signified, such as a road sign where the signifier is a cartoon style copy of the signified. A symbolic sign, when the relationship between the two is arbitrary, like the traffic light. An indexical sign, when the signifier is directly linked to the signified. Take for example smoke and fire, when we see smoke we automatically think that there's been a fire. The systems in which signs are organised into groups is known as codes. For example, we have a different group of codes when we're talking to babies versus when we're talking to lecturers. It's a different group of codes that govern musicals versus sci-fi films. The best example we have of this is when we look at dress codes. For example, when we see this sign combination, we automatically think of a formal setting compared to if we'd see this kind of combination. All of these are items of clothing that can be worn, but wearing the top combination connotes one meaning and the bottom connotes a different that's all for me for now. If you enjoy this video, please click the link and subscribe below. Leave a comment and check out our other videos. This has been me, Ellie, for Media Pool. Thanks for watching.